Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, I wanted to do a art tool review, specifically this pencil. But I'm going to start off with kind of a why I'm doing it, um, talk about the what and why I'm doing a review for a pencil, and then from there, look at the pencil itself. So, first and foremost, this is from Legendary Lead Company. They also use the title Legendary Pencil Company, and it's run by Mr. Jonathan Vallee. Now, I came across Mr. Jonathan in two different ways uh, a few years ago. And with that being said, he was always so helpful and so polite and so enthusiastic. And whenever somebody's doing something for the art community or hobby community, um, the, the way I could think of thanking them is doing a review of their things of their products, um, using them to make art and helping get their name out there. So my first encounter was when I was working on some of my older fountain pens. I had found some dip pen nibs that were pretty old and I contacted Mr. Jonathan and he was able to hunt down a news article advertisement from the 1850s, kind of get an idea of who produced them etc. So he was very helpful, very knowledgeable, and he has a lot of background um, with antique writing implements. The second way I came across him was as I was getting my fountain pens, I would get the vintage pen that would go alongside it, the pencil. And the vintage pencils will take vintage leads that aren't produced anymore. And the legendary lead company has just an enormous supply of these vintage leads and sells them online for a great price. He also goes to um, the pen shows and the pencil shows and sets up a booth. Uh, this was in my um, order, my most recent one. And I think they have one coming up in Ohio. Um, where's it at? In Columbus. So you know how you might go to a convention they have fountain pen conventions. They have the pencil conventions. This um, fellow will be at this one, I'm thinking, and he'll have stuff for you to try on hand and to purchase. So that's how I came across him, and that's how I started um, ordering things from Mr. Belay. Uh, a few years ago when I did my first order, as kind of a thank you for everything he did for the community, I did a review of some of the LEDs that he had, and I did a little bit of sketching with them. Then recently playing with portraits this summer, I used some more of those LEDs uh, as a medium for portrait work and put a video up on that. And I needed to purchase some more LEDs, so I had ordered that and I got this pencil as well. Um, and this pencil I've been drooling over and um, really wanting because it's really special. So let's uh, talk about that. On his website, so this is Legendary Lead Company, Legendary Pencil Company. There's a write-up in history about his involvement in the, um, the research and the historical aspects. And looking through this kind of background, I'm not going to read it to you all. It's, it, struck, it stood out to me where... I'm a math physics minded person. I'm not really well at writing. I'm not eloquent or anything like that. This was really well written and it's weird that that stood out to me. Um, he does talk about a blog that he was very involved in with the history and within his store itself, there's also books that he wrote. So this isn't to like inflate Mr. Jonathan's ego or anything like that, but for me, for that to stand out to my mind, I think that just really means something about how well written it is. I'm wondering if he has a background um, before writing books about um, pencils and antique mechanisms. Anywho, so that background, if you read that story, it leads to uh, procurement of a whole bunch of pencil parts from the last source in the United States. Now, if I go to the pencils themselves, 
So he had procured the barrels, the noses, all of these parts, and they come in different sizes, shapes, and carvings, engravings. There's the fat round, I think a thinner round, a 10-sided thin, and a 10-sided thick, so it's so slim and thin, 10-sided, as well as uh, double points. So right there, you kind of just see the various sizes that they can come in. Now on Facebook, he, and since I'm Facebook friends with him, he's been posting a lot of these pencils and um, really showing off what they've been doing. I'm not sure if they're doing a laser engraver or what, but they're engraving different designs into these barrels. And these designs are either based off of historical designs. For example, this uh, Eversharp, I think has a Chevron pattern on it. I'm not quite sure, I don't know the names that well. But he does have a chevron pot pattern in here. And if you read through it, you'll see that um, where the design came from. And so, yeah, as they're making more and more, they're getting more intricate and um, really interesting. Price-wise, the intricacy of the barrel carving engraving seems to play a part in it, as well as the scarcity of the materials. Um, the lowest price I saw pencil-wise was 30, and I've seen them on here go over 50. I think the blue and the the light blue and the white are the more expensive ones. And then as the carvings get more intense, they get more expensive. Um, anywho, one thing that I was a little worried about, this is the one that I have right here, uh, Grecian and Grecan. Uh, border was the the logo itself for the legendary pencil company sometimes companies will put a big billboard advertisement on a pencil or a pen and some people like that some people are turned off by that so I was worried about how large that would be but when it came in the mail if we look at it up close I'm gonna see if my camera will adjust you can see how small and um, just classy that is so a lot of thought went into these designs, and especially in the earlier models that he was putting together. So he probably had a lot going on in his head as they were playing around with different ones. But just scrolling through, you could see that there's just tons of different designs, um, just really unique and really um, special. Now, uh, before we start looking at the pencil itself, um, I have the 1.1 leads that I ordered at the same time and we're going to talk about those because I just really love that thickness of the lead. So we talked about the company, how we've come across them, we talked about what they're doing currently. Uh, let's look at the pencil itself. So replaceable eraser. I don't use erasers that often and if I do I'll use my pink eraser or an electric eraser within art that being said as a school teacher I see tons of pencils with no eraser meaning the kids maybe sharpen the pencil for the first time and then they've used the eraser already to the point where it's just um, useless I, I've watched students erase whole pieces of paper and you're just like all right why don't you just grab a new piece of paper but that's kind of what's what happens so having replacement erasers is good i haven't priced them out i haven't checked them out on the website but i think that's a cool feature um when i was showing this pencil to a co-worker i was bragging about it because i really liked it um she wrote with it and she erased with it and she's like oh was i not supposed to erase because i don't really use erasers and i was like no that's totally fine so the erasers themselves are not hardened or anything like that. I think some of the older erasers um, can experience that. So anyway, replaceable eraser. Storage up top for more LEDs. And the mechanism itself, I think these are all auto point um, pencil parts. He sent with it 
instructions on how to refill. And they look to be vintage, out of point um, information. So to advance, we would turn to the right, sorry, turn to the left to advance. And then to the right, and I would kind of push it up a little bit if I wanted to retract some. This nose comes off just like that. It's a very tight fit. At first I was surprised that there was just a um, connection through, I guess, tension and through fit. But I don't think there's really any issue there. We remove the advancing plunger is what they called it, if we needed to put new lead in. So I would just take a piece, drop it in here. I have a piece of lead in already. We would then fit that right in. And then slide that back on. So that's how you would go about changing the lead itself. Now, we talked about the design. We talked about the labeling. We talked about the eraser. We talked about the advance and kind of it's not a retract, you have to kind of manually retract and how to replace the part. Now, let's get to the 1.1 lead. I absolutely love this lead width. Um, a lot of pencils these days, I think it's 0 0.5, a 0 0.7. I was in the art store the other day and I did see 0 0.9, so I think it does range. But that being said, as you go smaller, you're going to get a thinner line width. Here, you can really get a thick line. And if you rotate a little bit, you'll then start having a thin line. What's happening here, and I think it's due to me preferring the, um, the softer leads, is that here you have the lead shape the end. And then as you use it, that part right there is creating a wider width as you wear that down. And when I rotate it, you're then using that point. So you can get very expressive marks from a pencil. So hopefully the variation is showing up there. I don't have a um, caliper nearby to measure those distances, the differences, but Do a variety of them. And I'll hold it up so you can see it a little bit closer. So there you go, the variation in that line. So for me, I haven't used it for drawing yet. I think that this afternoon I will, and that'll be kind of a continuation of this um, review. But I have been using it at work to sign bathroom passes and to write some stuff. Um, I'm not much of a writer, but let's see the quick So it's really nice. I am writing on top of um, This wooded surface so it is affecting it. Let's put a pad underneath it and try that out I feel like I'm spelling things wrong. Quick brown fox. So, ooh. so the leads themselves, a lot of fun. Um, the pencil itself, a work of art. I don't know, okay, so, Rapid, the, wrapping this up, just to talk about a few last minute things. Let me move this out the way. So I talked to, over and over about the 1.1 LEDs. He has them for sale on his website. And the standard ones, I believe there's 12 in a tube for $3. Uh, there is the wet noodle one, which is a little bit more expensive, $5. Um, but I think that that's worth it. And the ordering aspect, the shipping is next to nothing. It's maybe three or four dollars at most, probably less than that. So if you're ordering these for three or the wet noodle for five, 
you're really not spending too much money. It's really not bad. Um, I'm not sure if I had put this within the video that um, Mr. Jonathan goes to the different pen and uh, pencil shows throughout the United States. He had posted on Facebook about how um, the security was going through his bag and the security officer was like, are these all pencils? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apparently that was a new one for uh, the security officer. But he goes to these things. Um, there's one going to be in Ohio, uh, Columbus, and November 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. And I believe in his displays he has all of these set up and pens and pencils ready with the different LEDs if you want to try them out. So I think that's everything for reviewing this. I'm really excited about it. I Like I said, I absolutely love the lead. I love the historical aspect of it, um, the designs that he's doing. I'm thinking about maybe picking one up in black or blue in a different design. Uh, maybe have one in a soft lead and one in a hard lead and have that as a set of tools for portrait work. Um, beyond that, it's just uh, a work of art and you know, for somebody to be doing this in the year 2022, it's uh, absolutely fantastic. So go check out Legendary Lead Company, Legendary Pencil Company. Give them a follow on Facebook. Uh, give them a like and um, check out what this guy's doing. I think you'll really enjoy it. And this would probably make a great gift. I think it really would. Uh, people used to gift fountain pens all the time. So, and the pencil sets. I think uh, people should start bringing that back. You know, this uh, it really means, I think a lot, like whenever I was gifted fountain pens, it was really special. And when I gifted fountain pens and pencils to my students, it was really special. So, you know, people would appreciate that. All right, you all have a great day. Let me know if there's anything that I missed or anything that you'd want me to, that you all would want me to cover in future videos. I feel like sometimes I ramble with the reviews, but I'm doing that right now. And if you like this channel and like these products and want to support my procurement of these things, check out the links below. A um, whole bunch of ways to help this channel financially. And I'll continue exploring new mediums, new materials, uh, whatever you guys want me to, to check out and to see. All right, you all have a great day. Thank you.